Girl, you are not gonna believe who I found. Wait, who is that? Oh yeah, well I also won't eat. Run now! Pauline! Should we tell mama? No, she'll just freak out and send us across the country or something. Just tell Claude to be careful. I'll handle this. Up. Oh, I want Claudine's deepest, darkest secrets. You better milk that boy till he's bone dry. We ain't never been friends. Oh, here we go again. Why my name always popping up in conversations I ain't even in. Lose focus on winners. Oops. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Can you pick that up for me, please? Uh, um, uh, sure. Here you go, um... It's Frankie. Ah, uh, nice to make your acquaintance, Booty. Uh, I mean, um, Frankie. So how do you like our school so far? I bet you have to beat the girls off with a stick, huh? Me? Beating girls off with a stick? Is this some kind of joke? Don't play humble. I'm sure you were the big man on campus at your old school. I mean... Look at that silky smooth skin ah! and those gorgeous eyes. Right, well, um, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm actually seeing someone. Oh, is it that girl Claudine? No, it's actually her older sister, Claudia. Well, I don't see this older sister around. Can you, can you please get your hands off of me? This, this isn't right. So tell me more about Claudine. Well, why? Because if you don't, I'll have to tell your little girlfriend about that passionate night we spent together. What are you talking about? We've never hung out before. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Pictures don't lie. What pictures? These ones, of course. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it right now. Give me the camera. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not until you tell me a little something about Claudine. Alright, fine. She's a high school sophomore. Her hair is naturally dark brown, and she has amber eyes. That's not what I wanted to hear. If you don't give me something juicy, I'm gonna... Alright, alright. She's a demon slayer, complete with superhuman strength and everything. I knew there was something different about her. But you can't say anything this about this. This is perfect. Really Cleo's finally this is gonna give me the respect I deserve. Oh, this is so juicy. She's gonna love me. So basically, you just need to stay alert, and if you see a werewolf that look like an Amber Crombie and Fish model, boy, you better run to Claudine, okay? That's it. That's the monster plan. Y'all can't be serious. Well, I think it's a great plan, cause... So you mean to tell me we got a psycho daddy trying to rip us limb from limb, and the best y'all could come up with is to run to my baby sister? Well, when you put it that way, it do sound kind of bad. Coming up with ideas was always Nathan's job, but he been busy lately. That's it. I'm calling Mama. No! Claudine says she can handle it. Handle what? Uh, uh nothing. nothing. So, I guess I should probably thank you for saving my life. It's okay. We can call it even. <laughs> I knew you were a softie underneath all that teen angst. <laughs> Whatever. What were you doing out there trying to save my sister anyway? I mean, I appreciate it and all, but that was really dangerous. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I'm a demon hunter. A what? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have told you. Those things that were attacking your sister, they were demons. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I've been trained since I was a kid to hunt demons. It pretty much runs in the family. My father was a demon hunter. His father was a demon hunter, and so on and so forth. So you have, like, superpowers? Superpowers? That's cute. <laughs> no, we rely on our weapons training and our ability to outsmart them. Nobody could survive a fair fight with the demons. They're just too strong. Although, there was this old wives' tale that they used to tell us as kids. The story goes that this one single girl is chosen out of the whole world to be this slayer. She's gifted with superhuman strength and super speed. Wow. I know, right? It sounds so stupid. As if some teenage girl can save the world. <laughs> Excuse you? I mean, don't get me wrong. Girls can be tough. It's just that they're meant to be protected, not protectors. Well, you sure needed my protection. Huh? 
Hey, that is kind of weird. How did you manage to escape? I just remember being knocked out and then waking up in your room. Oh, um, I'm just a really fast runner. But that doesn't explain how you were able to carry me. Claudine, I have to talk to you right away. Nathan, what's wrong? Just know that it wasn't my fault. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know I was being pressured. Nathan, and I just couldn't Nathan, believe what down. she was saying to me, and it was so intriguingly horrifying. And I Nathan, let... stop. Okay, now stop from the beginning. Um, should I go? Obviously. Who is this loser? I'll talk to you later, Hunter. So what's going on? I told you a secret. What? That girl Frankie, she was she was torturing me and it sort of slipped out that you're the slayer. <laughs> no you didn't. You're lying. You're totally lying to me right now. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was you thinking. You really told her? I, I just... She's in the <clears throat> silicones. Those girls hate me. Oh my god. You did this on purpose. What? I would never do something like this on purpose. Claudine, what are you saying? You've been acting funny ever since I changed my image and stopped caring about what people think about me. Okay, so I think you're acting like a spoiled brat. Doesn't mean I would purposely hurt you. That's exactly what it means. You're just mad because you don't call it shots anymore, even though you're supposedly my watcher. Look, you are dismissed. Next time I see you, I'm throwing bow. What just happened?